So my name is Johannes, I'm a PhD student at EMPA in Switzerland. I'm 27 years old now and uh, I got a master degree in polymer science. My project is about uh, materials for self-healing soft robotics. So we are developing a special kind of materials that can react to voltage and then be used in soft actuators. That are devices that can convert an electric voltage to a movement. So um, my project is about um, finding a new class of materials that can be used for soft robotics and I'm dealing mostly with silicons. So silicons are a material that can be found in everyday life they are used, for example, for cosmetic applications um, like silicon oil, but they can also be used for implants. So they are very good, com have a good compatibility with the human body. And um, they also uh, are used a lot in soft robotics because they have a very good uh, stretchability and flexibility. Um, but for our application, we need to functionalize these silicon elastomers. So we do this by introducing polar groups to the structure and therefore we make them more susceptible to a voltage. So you can imagine that like um, we apply a voltage and then we make our material move. So I'm holding here a soft robotic finger that can be used for example for grippers and it's equipped with a soft strain sensor at the back that we have developed which can be used to measure the strain of the or the actuation movement of the finger and the advantage is also that it can self-heal so in case the sensor or the whole finger should be cut both uh, parts can be put together again and heated mildly and afterwards uh, they work again as before. Our project um, is exciting because we combine really uh, the material science with the robotics part. So it's really like at the interface between both topics. And um, for the future of uh, soft robotics, it's actually really important that you have good materials uh, because these are the parts that you're actually in contact with and uh, they can give a lot of additional functionality to the robot, like for example, the ability to self-feel or also that you could, can recycle the materials. And yeah, the, I think that's what is really interesting about it.